So the next service we're going to be hosting is called Chat Woot. It's very similar to Chat's Kick, which is funny because they're right next to each other. But uh, it's easier to pronounce and uh, I also prefer the uh, experience so far. So let's get started. I'm going to go into Coolify, add a project called the Chat Woot. Select the production instance, add a, re a new resource, select chat root, select your server, and we are in. So I'm going to save the shortened service name. As you can see, we've got some services here, but I'm actually going to be doing the same thing I did in the Chaskick video because this image is built only for, if we go into Docker Hub, only for Linux AMD64, and my server does not support this architecture, and so it's going to complain, and it won't run. So what I've done is, this, again, the same thing as I've done in the Chaskick video, except the command is slightly different here, but I've gone into their GitHub and taken their clone command for SSH and git cloned into my local machine. And then I built the image using this Docker build command. And then I pushed the image to Docker, to Docker Hub. We're going to be using it now here in the compost file. So we're going to be doing I'm going to be using this right here. Hit save. And that is it. So we're also going to need to remove these two services here because these two services are from the old image that you can see here. So we're going to re remove that now. So this is the correct image though. So we don't need to remove this one. But this one needs to be removed. So now we're ready to deploy. There are a few environment variables but normally we don't need to change anything on here. So let's just go ahead and hit deploy. So now the containers have started. Let's close the window and refresh. And you can see it saying running starting. We want to wait until it says healthy. Once it says healthy, then we know we're ready to visit the URL. So now all services are saying healthy. And I forgot to change the, U the URL here, but for the purpose of this demo, I'm just gonna go ahead and continue. But here I would typically remove the long part of the string just so that it's simpler to remember. And so now we're going to visit the URL and we have the sign up window. So go ahead and enter some details to sign up and click finish sign up. And so now it's going to ask you to sign in with the details that you just entered. So make sure you use the email address that you um, entered. In my case, I just entered a, a fake one. And we are in. So right off the bat, it is very similar to Chaskick. Just, you know, you have the similar tabs on the left. However, I find the UX strangely way easier to use on this one. So you already have some hints right here on certain things that you can do. The first thing we will do is create an inbox. So this is how people can contact you on uh, the widget that will appear on your website. And the first thing that I appreciate more on Chatwood versus Chaskick is the fact that you have different types of widgets. So 
on chat's kick it was a uh, chat bubble and it didn't seem like you could use you know for example whatsapp or telegram which and you know messenger which i find very very cool i immediately would choose chat would just on the basis of the fact that you can use these different ones. And anyways, uh, we are going to use the simple one, which is website. So enter in a website name. I'm just going to put in a dummy one. And this is what will be displayed when you, with a um, person, when somebody clicks on the bubble. So we've added some agents now. So add agents. And now we're given a script. So this is your prompt to take this and put it in your website. In my case, I just want to um, test it immediately. And so you don't actually have to copy the script and put it in your website if you just want to test it. What you can actually do is go into I believe it's in your inbox settings. So I'm looking for this link right here, which is the open in code pen. So if you click on that, it will open a code pen for you with the script that uh, you can use to test your widget. So if we go in here, you can see the chat is already ready. So you can hit start conversation and there you go you can test out your widget which I find very very cool um, Chaskick has a similar feature but it doesn't open in code pen it goes into a test page which also works to be honest I just prefer this UX I don't know why but um, it feels a lot simpler to me once you have conversations like we just created here, you'll see them on the conversations tab where you can respond to some to the conversation and you can pretty much do anything you need, add macros, you can attach files. It looks like you can maybe add some code as well. One thing that Chaskick does do better is on the conversation, there's a lot more tools that you can use to interact with um, your user. So add a video, even at, uh, start a video call, all that sort of thing, which I think is very cool. But strangely, that's not enough for me to want to use Chaskick. So anyways, um, then you have a contacts, a tab. Uh, reports which is it does look nicer as well than Chaskick and it's got campaigns where you can send messages to people I did like Chaskick's campaign page so these are seem to be a little less obvious to use compared to Chaskick's mailing uh, campaigns however the help center here is way better in my opinion so my help center you enter in a name and then you can add a custom domain however you don't have to and if you don't as you will see here so let's add an article test article some content here it automatically adds me, obviously, because I'm the only user. And let, if we click publish, you'll see we have an article now. But more importantly, I can actually visit this help center immediately, which I could not figure out how to do with Chaskick. So there is a little bit of a CSS issue here. But uh, overall, I prefer this experience to Chaskick because I can actually see what my help center will look like and it's already hosted as well and so that's pretty much the gist of what you will get with Chatboot 
And I really like the fact that you can use different types of ways to interact with uh, your users. So you have the website default one, but you can also add Telegram, WhatsApp, SMS even, or Messenger, or even email. So I prefer this versatility and the UX of uh, the Chatwood. That's my verdict. And I would go with Chatwood instead of Chaskick personally. And so that's it. That's it for this video. We've successfully self-hosted Chaswood, tested it out. And so I will see you in the next video where we will be hosting Classic Press.